Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 8 of the Nut Closer Show. We are excited to have you guys here. Happy Veterans Day out to uh, all our past and present and current military and veterans. Thank you for uh, your service and sacrifice to our country. Yes, we are kickstarting a little hard here. Uh, because without you guys and gals, we wouldn't be where we're at today. So we're excited to have you here. Uh, glad to just all the sacrifices you've made. And also, big shout out goes out to all your families for putting up with all the moves, sacrifices that they've made. So thank you so much. So you can uh, cut that down there a little bit there. So we are, uh, it is Friday, November 11th. So this is episode 8 of our Nut Closer Show series. So anyway, to, uh, we're just really excited about this. Today is always one of our biggest days of uh, kind of uh, giving back, so we've been working on a really cool little video sharing s some of the images and thanking some of our current students who are uh, past and present military all the way down from province all the way up to Brigadier General. So once again, everybody, uh, today, while most people are probably taking the day off, it is actually quite quiet here in quite the office, isn't it, isn't it everybody? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, except us. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the banks are closed. A lot of people will take this day off, and, and that's well deserved. Uh, what we are doing though is we got a little bit of work to do. We got a list of 93 assets in yesterday that you guys have almost broke down. Pulling photos, uh, doing a little Facebook stalking to uh, track down the borrowers on Facebook, as we shared a little bit with yesterday's episode about some of the craziness of those stories, right, everybody? Um, we uh, I did we got an honor yesterday. It was is it, extremely exciting. Yay! Our uh, website uh, for Note Camp runs on a software called Lead Pages, leadpages.com. And we got, I got an email yesterday that our page was ranked number seven out of all the lead pages for October 2016. So, way to go with all the great images we do. <clears throat> Big applaud to Chase Thompson for putting that together. Uh, the videos, um, the reposting, driving traffic to it. We were number seven, which is a huge honor, um, which is kind of funny when you look at the amount of marketing that we do and what we pay for it to see be input in that top 10. So really honored to be in the group of 10. They even have us are, 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 uh, in the thumbnail, our website in the thumbnail. So really excited about that. But <clears throat> the thing that keep, comes to mind with that honor is what it took for us to get in the top 10. And we weren't shooting for the top 10. It was just an unknown honor. I got an email from a lady over at uh, Lead Pages who runs their, their favorite blog, and you know, we it takes consistency. Uh, it takes having a passion for what you're doing. Hence why we started off the uh, the video day with a little Motley Crew Kickstart My Heart, one of my favorite songs of all time. It's uh, even better in person, I will tell you that. <laughs> uh, but when you're doing something, when you've got a passion for something, and, and passion and Veterans Day goes really well together, I think, because our veterans, uh, our military, our first responders, everybody, if you're in that, you have to have a passion, not only for your country, for, but for service. And uh, I would have gone to the Marines if I had not gotten a, a football scholarship, got my education paid for. So uh, I have a big, big special spot in my heart for our military, past and present. Uh, I've got some older half-brothers that uh, were in the Army as well. But uh, <clears throat> kick-starting your heart, it's all about passion. And... If you have a passion for what you do, it's a beautiful thing. It makes life a whole lot easier. It makes your J-O-B, if you have a job, a lot easier. It makes what you're working for, your business, a whole lot easier. And the video that we're going to post here that we put together, Nicole and everybody worked on it really hard yeah. today. We're, we're really excited about it. If you get a chance to know any of those people, Chris Frank, uh, Phil Drew, Tim Harridge, Mark Orr, Mark Gold, all these people have a passion and it doesn't take much to get their their uh, their heart kick started in the morning uh, a little bit of the old glory red white and blue uh waving and it, it, they're rocking and rolling but <clears throat> if you're not in the military and past present military that's okay nothing wrong with that we live in a society today where you don't have to get drafted uh, we have enough volunteers that are making things happen um you ha still have a responsibility to act and uh do things and strive forward to, and go forward on your pursuit of happiness, on getting making yourself better on a daily basis. <clears throat> we all have ups and downs, even uh, the most successful have ups and downs. Our ups and downs are a little bit different though. The, the, the valleys are a little deeper and the, the peaks are a little bit higher a lot of times. 
um, because we're constantly striving forward, striving to a, either better ourselves or a, be, become a better expert at things. Uh, the one thing you cannot do to be an expert at something or be good about something is be a multitasker or trying to chase multiple squirrels. You got to pull out the AK-47 or the AR-15 and shoot those squirrels and only focus on one, all right? <clears throat> it's the only way you're going to get better. And being directly focused on your business is important. Now, think about this. All our military, they go through a boot camp. Their first six weeks, eight weeks is a boot camp. They're getting their butts handed to them. They're getting in physical fit. They're getting in shape. They're getting their systems down. They're learning how to make a bed, how to do everything the Marine way or the Navy way or the Army way or the Air Force way. <clears throat> They're learning the way of their military branch. Okay, And a lot of entrepreneurs don't have that. They slough off. They drift. All right, um, And that's really where we fail is in how much we drift. And if you want to really... Uh, I want to read a really awesome book about success and overcoming success. Uh, go read Napoleon Hill and Sharon Lecter's book called Outweighing the Devil. Uh, an amazing book. We like to buy a lot of these copies and give them away all the time. But Outweighing the Devil talks. It's basically, it was written back in 1938 by Napoleon Hill, author of Think and Grow Rich. And his wife wouldn't let him publish it because the title and the concept of it would have been too crazy or too uh, controversial back in 1938. And... What happened is Don Green of the uh, Napoleon Hill Foundation came across the manuscript in uh, uh, Napoleon Hill's office and brought it to Mrs. Hill, and she talked a little about it. Then, so what Don Green did is then brought it to Sharon Lecter, and Sharon Lecter is co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, who write other books, Thing Go Rich, Three Fifth of Gold. She co-authored with Greg Reed on that, but she basically didn't rewrite the manuscript. She basically took the manuscript, left it as it was, but then added comments in what she thought Napoleon Hill would think of as today. And the premise of the book is, is Napoleon Hill having a conversation with the devil and how the devil is able to achieve success. And the way he's able to achieve success is by influencing people to drift, to chase multiple objects, not to be focused, not to have a, a uniform, straight, you know, straight line to where they want to be. And we all struggle with drifting. You know, we struggle on a daily basis. So I need to work on this instead of this. But the thing you have to keep in mind is the successful people out there are the ones that are laser focused. They're the ones that do the most amount of good, that do the most amount of damage because they are unilaterally, unilaterally focused on one thing. Yes, they may have different things going on, they may have different companies they run or that they're figurehead for, but they are focused on one thing. They delegate what they can, they focus on one thing. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're an investor of any sort, you gotta be focused. Now, if you're getting into real estate, you gotta be focused on real estate. If you're getting into notes or fix and flips or subject twos or wholesaling or uh, turnkey, you have to be focused, okay? You cannot be a jack of all trades, all right? And that's where I see a lot of people fail, all right? In the military, they have the military chain of command. You report up and keep going up there. You don't go around it. Uh, you have a way of taking action and, and going forward with things. And that's what, what I love about that is that we see that working very well in the real estate industry with past and present military. They're coachable. They get what they are asked what needs to be done next. They go and do it. They don't go do 12 things. They don't go do 20 things. They focus on getting one thing done, one job done. All right. And that's to be commended. And that's why they have a lot of success in real estate. That's why they have a lot of success in business because they don't get sidetracked. They focus and get a, they get the job done, all right? They leave a man behind, they get a job done, and literally crank it out and go on to what's next. And unfortunately, a lot of entrepreneurs that haven't been in a team atmosphere, like the Marines or the Navy or the military, or even, like, even uh, sporting teams, struggle with that team concept. They struggle with being a cohesive part of the team and then also focused on one goal, all right? You have to focus on one goal. If you're a solopreneur, hey, great. Get your vendors on board. Hire an assistant. Hire somebody to help you take care of the stuff that causes you to drift because you find so much more success. And what's funny is when you find more success, you become much more focused, the noise stops. The distractions will eventually go away. 
I can't tell you how many times I get hit up for different things. Or I get I bombarded with three people asking me to be part of the MLM last week or this week. And people, oh, have you thought about doing this? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to focus on the note stuff. That's what we focused on for the last eight years. And we've gotten pretty good at that. You know, and the marketing that goes along with that. We'll stick to that. So if you could do anything for your business today, you do anything for yourself the next six weeks to help kickstart your business in 2017, go talk with a veteran and outline what your focus really needs to be. Because if you go talk to somebody in the military, visit with them, see what they're focused on, what they're working on, that focus will come across. That dedication will come across. And so it's important that, hey, you shrug off it. A little bit slops off on you. You never know. <laughs> the Vietnam vets, they've seen some dark days. <clears throat> what they've had to go, go through are Iraq veterans as well and all our, our uh, veterans coming over from Gulf War and Afghanistan and Iraq. What happens over here is a walk in the park compared to what they've dealt with in the past and abroad. So thank them, give them a hug, buy them a beer, buy them a dinner, shake their hand, do something for them. Because without them, you would have to be doing a whole lot of different things. It would not be what the United States is today as far as the freedoms that we have and the availability to be an entrepreneur, to have capitalism, be able to kickstart your heart. You can do what you want versus have to get up and go do one of three jobs or one of four jobs like there are in other countries. So don't take for granted the liberties we have today. Don't take for granted the freedom that you have to take Every, you have the freedom to do every day. Okay, you got six weeks left in 2017. Do something, come up with a plan, take action, and thank a veteran. So that's all I've got. We got any questions popping up or anything like that? Nope, we, just um, had a, we had a hi, Scott from Mary Wolf. Hey, Mary Wolf, good to see you from Ed San Diego. Said, Who? Ed Gray. Ed Gray out there, awesome. Good stuff on your Facebook Live stuff too. Uh, we, got, we just posted a, a video too. Yes. Uh, we've got a little tribute video here for everybody. If you take on, I'd love for you guys to share it or um, make comments on it. So please, guys, if you could do us a favor, please, if you have questions, comments, leave them on here. Send us an email. Post it to uh, Twitter. My social media handles at one Scott Carson. We'd love to get your questions answered for you, whether it is in the note business, real estate. We're here to help you. So, have a wonderful Friday. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your Veterans Day. As I said, go buy a veteran a beer. Uh, trust me, you, you'll, you, they'll appreciate it more than you will. We'll see you guys at the top, everybody.